This year 2020 was pretty much dominated by the budget and mid-range smartphones. Now what's really interesting is the fact that these mid-range smartphones in their specs and features are so similar to the flagships, the top tier paid devices, that the performance difference is almost negligible. Now one smartphone that stands out in particular is the Samsung FE 2020. The fan edition had a very low key drop. It wasn't a massive dent in the market that blew everyone away, nothing like that. But after using it every day for about a month and making it my daily driver, I definitely believe it deserves the title of the best Samsung phone in 2020 and even one of the best value for money mid-range smartphones. To start off, you have all the top tier specs present on this mid-range device. You have a full HD plus super AMOLED display with 120 Hertz refresh rate, just like any flagship. Second, you've got a triple camera setup with sophisticated hardware to get pretty decent pictures all across the board and you won't really feel like you're lacking when it comes to the camera. Next, you get six or eight GB of RAM with the Snapdragon 865, which is a flagship level processor. You have 4,500 milliamp hour batteries, which are sufficient enough, but coupling that up with the fast charging as well as the wireless charging on a mid-range phone takes it to the next level. Lastly, you also have IP68 water resistance, 5G connectivity, and it's pretty much a decked out mid-range smartphone with all the specs coming in from the flagships. I mean, with all that being said, I honestly do believe this is the best Samsung phone in 2020, especially considering the fact that we did a review on the S20 Ultra as well as the Note 20 Ultra. Now, if you guys watched that video, you kind of know that we were underwhelmed by the performance on the Note 20 Ultra because we got the Exynos variant and not the Snapdragon. That is why in this video, we're gonna be talking about how the Samsung FE 2020 may be a better purchase and better overall phone than even these extremely overpriced flagships just because of the performance, the longevity, and how long you can really use them for. Now, obviously we have done our usual tests for the build quality design, the camera comparison, the performance, gaming, all of that stuff's been done. But the focus of this video is talking about how this mid-range device is potentially better in performance than the much more expensive flagships from the S20 lineup. When it came to the review of the Note 20 Ultra, we were kind of bummed out because we got the Exynos variant over the Snapdragon variant. So we got one of the most powerful devices, but with the chipset that wasn't 100% there when it came to battery performance and effectiveness and efficiency of that power chipset. We on this channel don't usually do benchmarks or benchmarking numbers at all because we like to focus on day-to-day -day performance and how an average everyday user is going to enjoy their smartphone. But for that video specifically, the Note 20 Ultra, we did do benchmarking numbers because we wanted to look at the difference in performance between the Exynos and the Snapdragon. Exynos variant of the Note 20 series are more expensive expensive than the Snapdragon variant for lesser performance. So that was a pretty big bummer for us. And that's why we decided to do that video specifically. So why am I talking about that right now? Well, the S20 fan edition here in Malaysia, if you get the 5G version, it comes with the Snapdragon 865 processor. That is huge because this is a mid-range smartphone that has a more powerful and power efficient processor than the flagship from Samsung here in Malaysia. So yeah, I mean, honestly, pretty much everything you can do with the flagships, you can do with this, and it's even more power efficient. So at the end of the day, you might have better performance, more battery life, and you won't just keep losing charge throughout the day like we did with the Note series or the S20 series. The Exynos variant is a great smartphone on its own standalone. The S20 series, the S20 Ultra, the Note 20 Ultra, great smartphones on their own. But once you do compare them to the Snapdragon series, it becomes a little bit of a bummer that you're spending so much money to get a less power efficient phone. If you're one of those people who want a Samsung device that is very powerful, mid-ranged and has pretty much everything from the flagship that you really, really need, this is definitely a phone I would recommend to you. You've got all those amazing specs that I talked about with such an amazing price point. We really make this the best combination and probably the best smartphone for value of money coming out of 2020. Now granted, within this budget, you have multiple other options to go around as well. The OnePlus 8T was a great option. The Mi 10T Pro is a great option. All these devices are great alternates as well. But all around, if you're talking about the performance, the longevity, getting everything right, hitting all the checkboxes, the Samsung FE 2020 definitely takes the win. 
We're also planning to do a video for the best smartphone in each category. That's a gaming phone, that's the best display, best battery life. If you guys are keen on seeing that as well, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on that. Now, of course, we're not gonna miss out on the camera samples and images for you guys. So here are some samples, but more are gonna be on our IG. With that being said, we really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and do consider subscribing for more content just like this. And we'll see you again in the next video.